hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm here with the final video of the makeover series we call this series renovating the ugliest bathroom ever on a budget so for the past few weeks my hubby and i have been renovating our kids bathroom for eight years i've had this bathroom and from the day and from the day the tiles were installing i hated the bathroom i knew that one day i was going to renovate the bathroom so the pipe in the shower started leaking so i've decided that now is the time to start the renovation although we were not fully ready because we have other major projects to deal with so we came up with an idea to renovate on a budget i was very excited and elated because I wanted to get rid of those ugly tiles so bad. Initially, I was thinking about taking down all the tiles, retiling the bathroom, or take down the tiles outside of the shower area, get a mason to come in and render the walls. But when we checked the budget, it was going to cost us about 3000 US, which would have been way over our budget. So in order to stay within the budget, we figured that we had to retile it ourselves. So there and then I came up with a mood board and decided that I would DIY almost everything on the mood board in order to save the money. So for the past few weeks, I've been posting different episodes. So I'm just going to give a recap of some of the things that we did. In episode one, we demolished the tiles in the water area and kept all the other tiles on the wall because we had planned to paint them. That was very interesting. We also changed the style of the bathroom by creating a niche in the shower and a lower toe wall. In episode 2, we did the tiling. The tiling was the hardest part of the project, guys, I must tell you. We had a lot of hiccups, but we overcame all of it. And the tiling turned out wonderful. By this time, we had been past our budget for tiling. The tiles cost about 324 US dollars. And... The other material for the tiling job it was about 100 US inset and tile strip and all you know growth so we ended up using more tinset than we had expected because the wall was very very bad in episode three that was the most interesting episode we realized that we had a huge huge problem we realized that we wanted a toilet and a face basin in the color scheme that we had planned to use so we came up with the crazy craziest idea ever, ever guys and you know what that is that was when we decided to spray the toilet and the sink to match our color scheme so we spent approximately just 50 us on that one and the project turned out great so as the week progresses we realized that we had to come up with a plan to get back on track with our budget so we decided to repurpose an old dining room tabletop no an old dining tabletop glass tabletop to create our walk-in shower so all we had to buy was the u channels to make the shower enclosure in episode four we also sprayed some of our old fixtures instead of replacing all of them and we painted the old tiles guys that was so interesting that was new for me and that turned out great so we painted the tiles to give the bathroom a total transformation in episode 5 we DIY a new vanity using the same board from the old vanity and we went a bit further by creating a resin countertop oh my god i can't wait to show you that guys so we created a resin countertop instead of buying a new marble top for the floating vanity because we didn't know what the series to be so lengthy there were other diys that we did but we didn't create an episode for them so i'm just going to show you some little short clips of some of the other things we did we created a new medicine chest from the old one and sprayed it in white. We repurposed our old mirror and used it to create a new floating mirror with lights. We didn't call in any plumber. We did all the plumbing work. We installed the toilet by ourselves. We installed the sink. We did the plumbing underneath. And we also installed all the new and old fixtures. 
We also created three beautiful floating shelves to add to the decor space. And guys, I must add that part of the interior is absolutely gorgeous. We also installed new hardware such as towel wrap, grab bar, um, robe oak, and, and much more. You will get to see it. And I sewed new drapery and installed it. We also painted the door. So guys, we are just about to jump into the big reveal, but before doing so, I have to show you the bathroom entryway makeover. It's just a little passage. So this was how it looked before the walls were painted in green. And I must say, I hated the color. So we gave it a fresh coat of paint and this is how it turned out. We painted it in white to freshen up the space. We painted the exterior of the door in black and we kept the frame neutral. So guys, this is the moment we all been waiting for. Guys, this suspense is over. I can't keep this any longer from you. So without further ado, here is the final review.
Okay guys, I'm just going to give you some more details about some of these items that I DIY. So this is the floating mirror I did. I cut it down to the desired size that I want. Then I created a floating wooden frame at the back. After which I used some black acrylic molding strip to frame the mirror. And I added lights at the back. I also sprayed the toothpaste holder. I sprayed these little petals they were in yellow I sprayed the soap dispenser in black and I also customized the mouthwash bottle with some vinyl I also sprayed the toothpaste holder and the plug and that light that you see hanging down there it's just temporary i'm gonna get a better one where the card will be hidden so this is underneath the sink where i have additional storage i have towels and i and i have also a little basket and this is the plumbing work we did guys it turned out great and as you can see this is under the vanity it's floating from the wall and i also added two gold handles you know just to add an aesthetic look and value to the vanity so guys this is a medicine cabinet when you walk in the door the first thing you'll think about this cabinet when you look at it the front of it you'll think that it came out of a store the finishing on the mirror the frame is absolutely gorgeous it is similar to the floating mirror so i use the same strip that is on the floating mirror i use the same frame strip the same molding strip on the medicine chest so what i did when i was making this medicine cabinet guys what i did was to take my son's medication and i just use them for the spacing of the shelves so that is how I ended up with this cabinet looking so neat and I feel so good about this because my medicine chest was always a mess. This is my old tissue dispenser and I added this basket for my son so he can put his dirty laundry. So guys this is the floating shelves. This is a showstopper in the bathroom. Either this or the vanity. There are so many things I can't make up my mind. So this is how I decorated it. I personalized the shelf. I added bathroom rules. I used the same frame that I used for the mirror, the floating mirror and the medicine chest is the same frame. So I created these, these signs from scratch. So I added two black, you know, bathroom signs. This is just a little teaser one, you know, just to make it fun. And I added some greenery guys when you are decorating try to add some greenery it elevates any look and take it to the next level so this is the shelf i really like it i kept it neutral and i added black decor we are also added some candles a candle on the toilet this is the toilet the handle we sprayed the piping at the side we painted in black you know and I added some towels I got new towels for my son I wanted to you know to keep the same color scheme he had yellow and I don't remember but I remember he had a yellow one so I changed his towel I changed his rag also you know I don't want anything to look out of place in there so I just try to keep within the color scheme and also guys I personalized these bottles so these I use um, vinyl I use my Cricut to cut the vinyl and I place them on the bottles you know and I kept the color scheme so definitely I would have to label the bottles so this is the plant here I love it guys I bought the the vase for about 200 Jamaican dollars about one US you know and also this is a razor hook i love this this came with the set i bought on amazon so all the robe hook towel hook and the the towel holder the towel hand towel holder i bought them on amazon 
I also added some more greenery over here. So this is real flowers. I placed it at the window so it can get some sunlight. I love green flowers and I placed it in a black cup. Yes, and I also add another one over here also. Yes, I, the greenery, it really pops the decor. Also, grab bar, it's very, very important, especially for kids. So if you have glass shower, even any kind of shower, you know, it's the, gra the grab bar is important. This is a soap dish from Amazon. So the grab bar, the soap dish, they came from Amazon. And these are my old fixtures. I sprayed them in black, so I kept these. Also, I bought um, the shower head from Amazon. I bought I bought an extension arm along with the shower head rain shower. This is very nice and elegant when you step through the door, looking straight ahead. This is the first thing you'll see through the shower. So I wanted something that looks real nice and elegant, you know, as a little statement piece. And that is the drape. Later on in the future, I might use blinds. I'm not sure, but you know, I'm glad I got something, you know, that fits in the color scheme. I also added a little trim at the bottom, you know, just to break the color and to bring in the black. These are some dry fl dried flowers. I sprayed them. I also sprayed this rose in black. So in the vase, I have neutral and black. Guys, I must say neutral and black or natural and black. They coordinate very well. So this is my hand towel holder. It's a set. It came with the, the towel bar. My bin, I'm sure you remember from episode 4. I also added a little pendant light and we sprayed the base in black. We also painted the ceiling in white. And the door, we painted the interior of the door in white and we painted the exterior in black. So the frame on the outside, we're going to keep it neutral, but the frame inside, I'm going to put it in black just to let the door, you know, look more defined. So I'm going to put this frame part here. I'm going to put that part, this part in black. So we didn't paint the doorknob, we kept the same color, it's bronze, I like that color and I think that color ties in with the color scheme, so we left it, we didn't touch it. And for those who didn't watch episode 2, um, these are the tiles, they are porcelain, so they are absolutely gorgeous, these are some floor tiles, you know, you know, and then we... I repeated the same color tile in the niche, you know, just to make the niche look more pronounced, just to break the white in the wall. And as mentioned before, this glass is from my old dining table top. So we bought some channels and we install the glass. And this is a walk-in shower. There is no door. So that's basically how the walk-in shower is we wanted some more strip on the glass but you know we also bought new faucet for the sink and we sprayed the sink stopper this faucet guys the finishing is lovely i like it it's matte black and i think it shows off the countertop along with the white sink and guys you must be wondering how i haven't mention the countertop i'm saving the best for last as I mentioned before this is a resin countertop and i diy this myself i'm gonna do a complete video on the countertop it was too much to you know to add with the other videos so i'm gonna do that after this episode i think i might post it after i'm not sure but i'm gonna try to post it as soon as possible thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this episode help me out by just leaving a thumbs up on this video if it's your first time here i do appreciate you clicking on this video guys we're on our way to 3k subscriber and i must say thank you thank you so much thank you for the continued support 
I really appreciate it. I'm glad I'm able to put out content so you guys can enjoy watching and even learn a lot from this channel, guys. Remember to like, comment, share the video. And if you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And if you'd like to contact me, I'm on all socials as Freakers underscore design. My information is in the description down below. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next DIY video.